Hello guys and welcome to another video of Five Polar. My name is Ami Pleban and I'm building websites as a freelancer. And today I want to show you a really cool method to use the selector in Elementor. Now, what is the selector? The selector is a tool that you can use in order to manipulate some CSS inside of Elementor. Basically, if you want to change, for example, a uh, color of the background of the bottom, you can do it by selector. Now, most of the time you will have it in the style, but sometimes you're going to miss um, some parameters and that's where it comes very handy. Now, in this tutorial, I'm also going to teach you how to identify the class that you need in order to change the CSS of the class, which is also very helpful using Chrome. And I'm also going to provide you with addition hacks that's going to help your uh, designing skills when you doing those kind of stuff. Now, I'm personally not using that a lot, but when it's need to be done, for example, I can tell you that uh, I had like a checkout button that I didn't have the parameter. I used it um, there and that's where it comes very handy and just keep the site flows into one. Now, I don't want to talk too much. Let's go and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we are at four bars loops. Uh, as you know, this is the site I'm working and showing all the tutorials that I'm working on. Now I want to show you how to use the inspect and to do and go and mani manipulate all of the things. Now, if we're going and right click and go to inspect, we're going to find this window right here. Now, this window right here can see very immediately thing at first, but it's very clear once you're getting to know what is going on here. Do you know that you can change it over here to whatever you want? And also you can find this little thing right here. And this is basically going to help us select our elements. So we can use Control Shift C or just click here, whatever it works for you. Now, for example, if you're going to go to this element right here, it's going to identify the class that we're looking for. Um, from here, by the way, we can change the font. For example, if we want to see it like 40, you see it's 40 and we can change the weight. Let's say we wanted to see it like 600. That's very helpful for designing if we just want to see stuff like on the go. All right, so let's say we want to change this bottom right here and we don't have the parameters inside of Elementor. Now, I know what we have, but for this purpose, we're gonna make, make it like we don't have the parameters inside of Elementor. So how do we do that? So first of all, we need to identify the class of this bottom, right? So let's go to the method I showed you right here. And let's say we want this right here. Now, as you can see, it gives us all the class with all the rules, but we can use just the first class that we see here. So we can control C that and let's go and edit with Elementor. All right. So we are inside of our website. Again, we're going to change the background of the bottom. Now we copied the class, but where do we paste it? So we can usually change the background color from the style, right? And let's go and find the background. And here we can change the background. Now let's say we don't have it right here and you want to change and change the color of the background. So what would, would you do? First of all, if you don't have it here, you would need CSS. Now that's where it comes very handy, these two. Let's go to advanced and let's go to custom CSS. Now, as you can see, we have like the explanation here, but this is not a good explanation in my opinion. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can use it. First of all, we can just like use the selector to select everything inside of the thing here. Now, as you can see, we have this whole section. Now, probably it's going to manipulate everything here. Now, there's one command that I really like to use that usually just selects most of the stuff. So let's go and choose background color and let's make it red. As you can see, it made it red, but we want to change only the bottom background, right? So how we do that? We are first of all going to use the selector and then we're going to choose going to write the dot dot is going to be the one that we target so we want to target the bottom link we don't need all of this as you can see it's already uh, in red all right amazing now let's have ourselves bracket and now we can start and changing stuff so let's change the background to be red okay so nothing changed Usually, it means that we have some previous uh, stuff and additions. So how do we come and make it red? Well, there is a method that I really like to use. So let's go and get rid of this and choose 
this one and let's go and hit important now important basically gonna say that you're not gonna notice everything that was previous you're just gonna notice what is being written right now now that's why i use this important as you can see it's changed this bottom to red we can change the color to everything that we would like so for example blue now this is really cool trick and very handy let's try and do this to another element that we have here let's say we want to change this icon right here something this is more advanced so let's go back and let's go to inspect again let's use the same method and let's try and find the class of this one um as you can see i think this is div and we have this whole thing but we want just the icon so i think this is gonna be the class that we're looking for let's go back home and go to advanced and custom css let's use it the selector dot and just use the first element in our div and let's have our basket and change the background color to be red and as you can see it changed the background to be red and that's easy that's what what you need to know with that um, targeting stuff now you can go crazy with that and target whatever element that you want usually you're not going to use it if you have this full element or or anything like that but it comes really handy when you're trying to make some really specific stuff and yeah guys this was the tutorial a really quick tutorial of how to use the selector and the css to help your designing skills so if you like this video and it's helped you you are more than welcome to leave a subscribe to my channel down here and maybe leave a comment of what you want to know next uh, i will be happy to help you out as you can see from the back i'm cooking chicken so i'm getting extra point for that thank you for watching and have a great day